The red areas on this world map clearly show that in equatorial regions, tropical soils named laterite are extensively present. These soils are often found in developing countries which are in great need of low-cost roads. Because some laterites have the favorable property of hardening on exposure to air, these soils are often used in these countries as paving material. It is clear that this is far cheaper than, for instance, asphalt, because laterites can be found near the site of road construction. The forest development roads in Suriname also show the characteristic red color of laterites. Unfortunately, there are quite some problems in the application of laterites in road constructions. Tropical rain showers create one of the worst hazards to lateritic roads. Due to wetting by the rainwater, the paving layer softens and becomes inaccessible to traffic. The fine material in the soil, which serves to cement the coarser particles, is being washed out by the rainwater, reducing the paving material to merely gravel-sized particles, which tend to be pushed out of the pavement layer by the traffic, causing danger, especially in curves. In dry periods, the fine material is blown from the pavement layer by traffic-induced winds. The fine material strongly enhances corrosion of cars, both from the inside and outside. The clouds of dust that are created limit the view of car drivers, whilst the reduction in fine content gives the pavement layer a looser structure. To solve this problem, countries like Brazil and many African countries apply bitumen seal coats to the laterite pavements. This is quite an improvement but it is expensive and requires maintenance. Especially on gradients, rainwater is free to attack unsealed lateritic roads. The paving layer is not the only layer which is being washed out, the underlying base layer is also attacked. The size of the so-created erosion gullies can be enormous. The rainwater does not attack just the road pavements. The slopes adjacent to the road in cuts and fills are also eroded. Again, the consequences can be dramatic. Surprisingly, steeper slopes seem to resist erosion better than shallower slopes. When vegetation is present as protection, erosion is far less pronounced. When the road passes through valleys, it has to be built on earth embankments. These structures block the transportation of water from the woods. In order to allow free flow of water, culverts are being incorporated in the embankments.
In case of clogging or excessive settlement of the gulfords, a sheet of water will form, resulting in soaking the earth structure. Finally, the water may rise too high and break through the road embankment. When corrugated steel culverts are applied, they may be affected by acid rainwater resulting from biological decay. The culverts are corroded, they collapse, and if no countermeasures are taken, this may be the result. Concrete culverts can be affected too. In addition to failure of road embankments, trees falling on the road may block the traffic. This problem would not arise if the bush clearing for the road would be wider, but that would be more expensive and give rise to more severe erosion. The problem can only be solved by regular maintenance. Another aspect of maintenance is the clearing of secondary vegetation, which is necessary for the prevention of complete covering of the road within a few years by this vegetation. Once the secondary vegetation has been removed, the then developed grass cover on the shoulders of the road should be kept short. The grass covered shoulders ensure good drainage and prevent erosion. Nevertheless, major and minor repair jobs will always be necessary. These are the problems that are being investigated in the research project which is being carried out in cooperation between the University of Suriname and the Delft University of Technology. Through field and laboratory investigation, one hopes to find a standard test that can assess the suitability of laterites as a road construction material. This standard test may form a basis of road design standards developed especially for Suriname and which may solve the present problems with lateritic roads in the future. <laughs>